Hey what's up guys, Alex here and welcome to another episode of The Design Factory. In the previous video I showed you the necessary steps to start to design a new web layout with wireframes. After this point, a non-experienced designer could think that it's time to jump straight into high fidelity design, like adding colors, images, proper text and so on. This is totally wrong. We need to spend a little bit more time to avoid common mistakes and missing really important piece of information for the future. The next necessary step is to stop thinking about pages and to start focusing on users. The user flow is a necessary step to identify how our website adapts and changes based on who's watching it and how they're using it. For example, I thought about my homepage like a portal to invite users to check the most recent content uploaded and guide them to fulfill my main goal to sign up and subscribe. But what happens after a user is signed up and it's visiting the homepage while it's currently logged in? Showing to a logged user an inviting header, a call to action to sign up, and a generic overview of the most recent content doesn't really make sense. He's already inside our design, he's already inside our website, he doesn't need to see a presentation all over again. The design should be organic and alive and automatically adapt to the needs of the user by providing him whatever he's looking for. Always question yourself and try to think at your personal experience. Like if you signed up to a website and you're coming back after a couple of days, what would you like to see? Maybe a recap of your personal activity, maybe more recent uploaded content, or maybe less advertising of what the website contains but more way to access the content you need. Don't be afraid to completely change your design or the order of your elements in the page. We can totally do that. The consistency and balance of a website doesn't depend on the order of its internal sections. Uh, it depends on the overall style guide, the color palette and the presentation of the content. All things that we didn't even remotely touch and we don't have to until our bare bones structure is fully defined. Try to think at what you want and what is driving you to access daily to a specific website. What's hooking a user? What is pulling him again inside our website? And what can we present to him to tell him, hey, this is your custom experience that only you can have. It's for you and you're at the center of this experience. A returning user is more savvy and experienced, so he doesn't need to be pampered with few curated content. If he's coming back, it means that he wants more, he wants to access to more content in the easiest way possible, and he wants an updated status of his history. A returning user shouldn't waste time in finding stuff that he already knows. As usual, always remember to step back and look at the big picture. Look at the rhythm, the balance, the amount of elements and containers, how well spread throughout the entire page and if something looks off. As I already said, the wireframes are the perfect place to experiment, push forward and think of many different solutions without being afraid of destroying everything and rebuilding from scratch. You should use this treatment for every page. If a page changes based on the status of a user or the status of a specific moment in your day, you should design all those different status. You should design the entire user flow from start to end, what it's gonna experience, what it's gonna see and how our design will adapt to his needs.
Thank you guys for watching and talk to you soon.